My father, all your wheat are in your account. Great, great deal. Someone in King. Speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit store kids. I've heard stories. Old tale, crit forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell that the betrothal is off. It's a long journey on foot. Marine. Shit. Business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Are you going to be a good little fork? Learn your lesson and stay down. You can be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Boy is your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I'll tell you about your father, did I? We blessed. Pig. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... and we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your br- You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killer. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I saw him. I saw everything. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to sing. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... That's impossible! Finn can't stand me! Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone! Enough! Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go! I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger! What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. 
I thought you were going to be by my side at Crusters. John, I swear I honored my vows. Britt wanted a fight and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Crasters. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. of my dragons. Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Are you calling me a liar? You know nothing about me. You're right, no you. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course. A man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, sir. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Then you were wise to keep your distance. You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. Or... He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. You can try to justify it all you want, but the truth is, he's dangerous. He's right. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You tell me lies about Drogon. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? My little brother was murdered in front of his family, and our youngest is still held against his will at our enemy's house. What is it you expect me to do? We need to hire an army. An army? If you could spare some of your swords, Please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation? Once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me.
you may leave. Oh, that's but it. Your grace. See them out. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. Bold of you. You forget that is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Beska here. She... I'm on the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the second sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? No. Oh. They could prove valuable. We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. going into Marine. What's the problem with you and Marine, anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Beska. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's the problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roylin. He can fight his own battles. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. <clears throat> Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, Drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Roderick! Let's try it again. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. 
Maybe this was a bad idea. I didn't know if I would see you again. Given how we left things. That... that doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you, and... And that my sister make a fine wood. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to him. Then you have to defy your father. I intend to. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. And so have I. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours, if you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. White he'll still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? You aren't even going to speak to her? Arthur. Would you give us a moment? I know you have to think of your family, but... I don't have a choice here, Roderick. The thought of him touching me, calling me his own. I won't live like that. We don't have to murder Griff. I can use those soldiers another way. How? I've thought about it, and this is the only way to be sure. What else could you do to stop it? I know it's... it's drastic. You'll just have to trust me. I don't know. You know me, Elena. What other choice do I have? All right. The guard is yours. Thank you, Elena. I just hope that when the time comes, you'll do what must be done. I guess part of me still hoped that when this was over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again, like we used to. Protect still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. I fancy she'll marry his brother too. Not to but mention Cersei and Jamie. Oh, shh. 
The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud White Hill. Lord Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Oh, I'll figure it out, Tom. Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom and torn him. The one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Oh, you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Expected. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. Well, it might be useful. Oh, wood's rotten. This is all bloody useless. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Just sand. Oh, I'm not getting out that way. This one looks loose. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're he to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. You'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you. To the North Grove. You know I'll stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black. 
but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I could try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving, though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. It's coming loose. I'm going to try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think... You two idiots, lucky I'm not Frostfinger. Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try some of this. It worked, didn't it? Finn, you bastard. What are you doing here? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with Potato Fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. He stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move! There's no turning back now. We're deserters, for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Words mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. The vows I said here, I meant them. I was a brother. But the Night's Watch betrayed me. That's on them. Now. Then how fast can you run?
worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester, and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I'll make sure the Maester is safe. That's what matters. You can do much more than that, Roderick. That's my decision, Arthur. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane and I want you to enter. We'll be ready. Oh, Kerif isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. to obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm in the maester. She'll never marry you, Griff. She'll do what she's told. Just as you did, Roderick. And so will he, when I'm through with him. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think I'm fucking pretending? You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Go ahead. Come at me, Griff. My fucking pleasure! Ah, you fucking... You're dead, Roderick! I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! He is not the... One here who gives the orders? Kill anyone that moves! You heard him! Stand down! You can't do this! Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. You flay you, and your sister, and your fucking family! I did warn you, Griff. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! What's it gonna be, Roderick? <laughs> Fuck you, Roderick! Find the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Coward! Bloody coward!
Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Kill the Ravens. All of them. Swear I will! Fuck you and your queen! That's enough! So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders! And getting pissed drunk before a mission! Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to die out there! Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage! But in the seven bloody hells! What's going on? Why the hell are you drinking? Since when do I need a fucking reason? You can't fight like this, Asher! You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck what do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Oh! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck. Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never want a bloody show like you Basically, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <laughs> oh. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. Have you two? Fuck Croft. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. You brought me here. You this. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. What are you so afraid of? I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But it made you strong, didn't it? You say that like it makes it worth it. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me.
I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Here. Thank you, little brother. Got my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. Come on. You've had enough. Let me say that. in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. In there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. Oh, come on, Mira. <sighs> Fine. Just stop making that face already. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. Lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let's look. <Sit. laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I have to take care of a personal matter. Oh, well, don't let us stop you then. Me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. Danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! And 
why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? I can't imagine that would be the case. <laughs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all. That's what. An exclusive deal. How good for you, Angelos. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Angelos? Telling the joke, remember? <laughs> I heard he was killed right here in the garden. Well, wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Surely they've not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Let's not repeat too much gossip. Here's my book. Diverted things with this beautiful little boy, isn't it? Are you worried? Oh, it seems so calm out there. If you're... <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how, what's it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told the time. What were you arguing about, if you don't mind my asking? Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. It appears, Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Ah. Used to me. 
I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, bread? Or wine, and I got in your way. From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals happen. Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I'm sorry. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. Goss! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. What? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Tarwick. I'll keep your secret safe. I suppose could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200... What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Man Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment, and every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. I'm quite serious, Mira. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is big like water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make.
Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. Know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's... Did him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hard sell swords. Hundreds of them. He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I... Him. Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't... You bloody traitor. You promised me! Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me things. Mirror, you've just made a very, very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. That map again, you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How was the f well, This won't last much longer. If Finn wasn't eating all of it. It's not me. I will have to soon look for some food. We're on the right. This way. things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling? They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. You! I'm... Oh! oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first. Listen! I don't want to fight. Then you shouldn't have come here. Please! You should have stayed by our wall where you belong. They see us, they'll kill him. He'll be all right. Won't he? Ah! Ah! Please! You don't like it.
You best hope your little crow brothers come by you soon. Oh! 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 How's that feel? Red. Kill them! Fighting you. It's over. Shit. Are those the last of our supplies. Oof. Uh, oh, we can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. Rest up ahead. I thought I'd feel better, seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. And I'm... I don't know what I would have done. I just knew it wasn't what I wanted to be. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. Gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way behind their wall. You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? Right now, Lord has every excuse to attack us. But if I can talk him down... If we're to negotiate, we could even get Ryan back in the bargain. A trade? Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't meet Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small folk soldiers. They're barely trained, Royland. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But for something this delicate, perhaps you best take Duncan. 
you're going to an enemy stronghold. Surely you want your master at arms. It's Roderick who must decide. Who would you rather have by your side? Roiland's my sentinel. Duncan can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. I don't care. Dahlia, you'll be the only forest in Ironrath while we're gone. I need you to rule in my stead. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. Ethan rose to this task, and so will you. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least. I hope you're right, Lord. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. <laughs> You're too, Malcolm. And I couldn't be prouder of you. Good luck, my boy. these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure that... Therund, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a... The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake... And the man you remember when we stole that giant warhammer? Get in, do what that you have woman to do, Elise. and get your people Didn't she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my head could feel any You worse. got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them. They must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. What does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The Masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. You don't have to help us. Just point us at the people you want dead. We'll take it from there. You enjoy this far more than you should. Kill only those you must. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made her. I hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Voids the main street. Let's just get this over with.
What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You asked me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. See anyone? Cover me. Blood. There's our target. We should hurry. We have to go. There's something I have to do. Vesca, what are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this. Just tell me. Do you trust me? I need to... Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Vesca! Where are you going? Follow her! Why are you doing this? Ten years ago. Beska! Stop! I should have killed you. Beska! I should have fucking killed you! Beska! My master. Dezos Oraza. The man who forced me to... Oh, you. That is a mercy compared to what you deserve. After what you did to me, to those other children. Don't do this, Beska. You don't have to kill him. I can't let him live. You all people should know that. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away. <sighs> My best guy. I am not your Let him go. Croft, what are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say. Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asha. And he'll pay for it. Once the sit free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those pits. Ah. I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. You heard what Daenerys said. Let go of me. I'm doing this, Asha. Take your hand off me. Please, for me. I've done all of this for you. I came... Damn you, Asha. Wait! Out of this alive yet. 
She's just getting started. Over there! So when were you gonna fucking wildly? Not now, Finn. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. We can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's done. I'm gonna go sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. Ha! Huh. Just hurry up! Oh, yeah. What is that stuff? Ugh, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know, do we? Hold that there. You almost done. Oh, God. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, Maester. Oh. oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Whoever was living here must have left. Too bad they didn't leave anything behind. Still don't trust him, you know. I know. He nearly got us all killed. Fuck, maybe that's what he wants. Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. He's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. Someone's still living here. Well, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Or oh, you're like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. I don't want to hurt you. Put your weapon down. Now. Not likely. Wanna kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that... Garrett! You're outnumbered. Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! Who's... It? Told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. You planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... Huh. This... She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove.
Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's initiation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest, are you on my side or his? My father honors guest right, just as you do. You didn't ask a question. I told you I'd try to talk sense into my father. And you did your part, putting up with Griff. I know how difficult that must have been for you. But it will all be for nothing unless you listen to what my father has to say. You need to take a head. Don't patronize me, Gwyn. I'm not. I'm warning you. Tread carefully today. There are lords who wield power, and lords who like a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. Years of blood. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? My lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Coral died of grayscale a few years ago. Miss Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to. My mother was still alive. Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. We should get going, Roderick. My father's not a patient man. That must... Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on, we mustn't keep my father waiting. Where's your father? Stretch. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. That's still our plan. I'll follow your lead, Lord. Let's have a look around, see what we find. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. And, and abandon him. Just stay close to Sir Royland. If things do get bloody, he's your best chance of getting out alive. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's crack. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any craft. Oi! Step away from that!
Why all this? If they mean to betray us. Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. He's testing us, seeing what we're made of. Roderick! Welcome to High Point! Lord, I men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous. Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey. And unlike Stark, you don't eat. Please, can we just get on with this? called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. Stop talking about it. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lot, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let, won't you toast with me, Roderick? To family. To, to family. family. Now, tell us why we're here. The Ironwood business, Rodri. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roos Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons. And I'll make sure you foresters... As if he'd protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threaten us... I'm not threatening. You're proposing an alliance. An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I consider an alliance. Give him time. I told you... I offer you peace. And you spit at it. I offer opportunity. And you demand more. Need I remind you kiss my ring? Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground and put it to the torch! This isn't the way to get what you want. They're slaughtering your small folk. Maybe you'll even make you watch. Griff won't be doing a damn thing. Do you mean? He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. You've imprisoned my son. He was there by order of the Warden of the North! Roderick. Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back and we want him today. Bring the boy! Ryan! Mother! Roderick! You came, just like you said you would! No! Father, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I swear by the gods if you will... Let him go! Or I'll have Grim! Not what we agreed. Blame him! Griff alive again. You think I give two shits about Griff? About my fucking fourthborn? Power! Oh, I ought to kill you right now! Because you fun never learn. I'm not afraid of you! Can I fucking murder him yet? Try it! Why don't you all hold me? Let you go! Everyone, please! I'll kill you myself! Roger, do something! Go on then, do it! What? You think I want? I know you will. Tim Rogers. Because all your bluster, all your posturing, 
You care about your son. Whitey is still a Whitey. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No! We'll make the trade on neutral. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It won't be long, Lord. And when they come... <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lord. Listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, the invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. We'll need to take those two out first. They're in there. Not to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question... Too many to fight head on. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm. It's nothing. Just forget it. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Then prove it! What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? We'll stay on the ground. You take the wall. Care of him first. He'll see you.
think he got the easy job. Clear down there. Hey. Oh. We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. We stick to take care of them first. All right. Believe you did. Croft! Croft! Quit whimpering. I'm not dead yet. You hear that? It's starting. Oh, my God. 
last. Back at High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. Sleep in his bed. Eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. We'll celebrate once Ryan has returned safely. We just need to make the trade. You're right, of course. Still, you did well today. Don't lose sight of that. My lord, look. Dahlia? Duncan? Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> Come on. He's so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Oh. Maybe you think you can... I... I didn't mean to... Perhaps a song, instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. Ramsey. How courteous. Now I know where your sister gets her manners. We've had a lovely time together, Lydia. Simply, it's been lovely. It's been lovely. And you can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Ethan was the first, doesn't have to be the You claim that your own people do not respect you. But we did as you commanded! These aren't sellswords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and your brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you're not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Arid. Shh. 